because your arms they keep Glennis Grace is a 40-year-old Dutch singer from Amsterdam who appeared on season 13 of America's Got Talent. Glenda Bada, better known by her stage name Glennis Grace, was born in Amsterdam and started her career at an early age. As a child, she got the chance to develop her voice in a small studio that her grandfather built for her in an attic room. Glenda said she first discovered the power of singing when her mother gave her the Whitney Houston single, One Moment in Time and she strived to become as good as the American singer. At age 11, Glennis participated in the UNICEF Gala for Kids, which was presented by Audrey Hepburn. Singer Julio Iglesias also participated in the gala and was so impressed that he suggested she sing a duet with him. At age 16, Glennis gained national attention when she won the 1994 finals of Dutch competition The Sound Mix Show with her cover of Whitney Houston's One Moment in Time. With her win, she also received a record deal and released her first single, I'm Gonna Be Strong, which reached number 13 on the Mega Top 50 that same year. Unfortunately, her first album, Real Emotion, was released in 1995, did not have the same success, and over the next few years, Glennis would fade from the spotlight. Glennis released her second album, Secrets of My Soul, in 2003. There were a number of well-known international names that contributed to the album, but it also failed to meet expectations. In 2005, Glennis represented the Netherlands at the Eurovision Song Contest in the Ukraine, which she performed her powerful ballad, My Impossible Dream. The single was well received, but Glennis did not go through to the grand finale, placing 14th out of 25 contestants in the semifinal. After Eurovision, Glennis worked diligently to reignite her career. She released a music video for her song Shake Up the Party, but it failed to be picked up by radio stations in the Netherlands. Unable to achieve a real breakthrough, Glennis was released from her label and parted ways with her manager, John Van Catwick. In 2006, Glennis's new record label suggested that she record an entire Dutch language album. Over the next few years, Glennis would have moderate success with one of her singles, If You Sleep, peaking at number 9 on the Dutch single Top 100. All just left, and Glennis wouldn't experience her next real breakthrough until the end of March in 2011. She appeared on the third season of The Biggest Singers in the Netherlands and performed a rendition of Off's Head, a 1998 hit by the band Voluma. The performance became a YouTube hit and a digital single peaked at number one on both the iTunes hit list and the Dutch single Top 100. Glennis Grace now had her first major number one hit in the Netherlands. Later that year, Glennis was named Best Singer of the Netherlands by the Dutch public for the second time in a row. In 2012, Glennis was one of the founding members of the Ladies of Soul. The Dutch supergroup was first brought together for a series of Whitney Houston memorial concerts the group featured singers Glennis Grace, Candy Dulfer, Birgit Lewis, Edsilla Rombley, and Trijanit Ushof. It was her rendition of Whitney Houston's Run To You, performed at the 2017 Ladies of Soul concert at the Ziggo Dome in Amsterdam that caused her to go viral that year. Videos of Glennis belting out Houston's tracks including I Will Always Love You, Greatest Love of All, and Didn't We Almost Have It All attracted hundreds of comments on social media. Many commenters could not get over how the Amsterdam native sounded exactly like the late superstar. 
In May of 2018, Glennis released her first single in three years titled Walk on Water. During radio show Radio 538, where she first played the song live, she also announced that she's going to participate as a candidate in the 13th season of America's Got Talent. In an interview with the TV show RTL Late Night, Glennis explained that she was chosen to participate on America's Got Talent after the show's team saw a video of her performance with the Ladies of Soul. Glennis explained that she was thrilled with this opportunity, although she was also apprehensive. I took at least one month to think about it, she said. In the first instance, I immediately said, no, I can really be a chicken. I've always aspired a career abroad, that's true, but to stand in front of such a jury, that's terrifying. Nevertheless, Glennis rose to the challenge and auditioned for America's Got Talent. For her America's Got Talent audition, Glennis performed the song Run To You by Whitney Houston. Before surprising the judges with her powerful vocals, the soft-spoken single mother admitted her 11-year-old son Anthony had inspired her to face her fears and audition. She was 39 at the time, and she was not sure if she was too old to try and fulfill her dreams. She explained, Ever since I was a little kid, I knew I was made to sing for lots and lots more people. I'm a bit nervous just to sing for you guys and you, she said, before she began her performance. Seconds after she began the song, America's Got Talent fans quickly drew a connection between Glennis and the late icon whose song she was performing. The performance earned a standing ovation from the entire room and all four judges voted yes, sending Glennis to the next round. The audition, while successful, was not without controversy. After her performance, Judge Harry Mandel said, The only reason you're not a star yet is because we haven't seen you and we haven't heard you. How lucky are we? that we get to watch you explode on this stage tonight. Not only did you make yourself proud, but you made your son proud. Glennis was introduced to the American public as a hardworking, struggling single mother who has only one dream, to break through as a world-renowned artist and set an example for her son. For fans that were familiar with Glennis, that narrative did not fit with her reality as an international superstar. Dutch television show Zondag Met Lubach released a satirical video in response to the way Glennis was being promoted on the show. The video notes that Glennis's career had been set back by such heartbreaking achievements as winning the Dutch version of Stars in Their Eyes, winning the National Song Fest, performing at Eurovision, having hit singles and gold records, and competing on the best singers in the Netherlands. The video goes on to say, So how did the struggling single mom cope? To make ends meet, she worked long hours selling out concert halls and theaters every day. Life was tough. Glennis made it to the America's Got Talent finals, where she performed the song Run from Snow Patrol. Right you, oh. The performance has earned Glennis a standing ovation from the judges. During the results show the next day, Glennis performed Meant to Be with singer Biba Rexa. Unfortunately, Glennis did not make it to the top five finalists and was eliminated from the show. After the event, she told reporters, The most important thing for me is that Americans have taken me into their hearts. AGT has been a platform for me. One thing is clear. Things are now really going to get started. At the beginning of 2019, Glennis announced a new club tour, More For Me, in the Netherlands. In April of this year, Glennis appeared on The Voice Kids and performed a duet of Whitney Houston's One Moment in Time with contested Cezina. Glennis Grace's appearance on America's Got Talent also boosted her social media presence, and she currently has over 155,000 followers on her Instagram account. Glennis also has a popular YouTube channel where she covers many of Whitney Houston's hits as well as many other artists. Glennis has also announced a Whitney Houston tribute tour that she will begin later this year. Unfortunately, American fans will have to travel overseas to see her current tour, but here's hoping she will return to America in the near future. Would you like to see Glennis Grace's tour of America? Let us know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.